I am super excited for this one. This is a blaster I've wanted to talk about for some time. But first, let me welcome you to Tag Back, the show where every week we take a look at a blaster from the past to see what it can offer us today in the present. And this time, we're taking a look at one of the coolest blasters ever released, the Busby Torrent, circa 2011 or so. This thing is, uh, well, it uses, of course, these dreaded Busby shells that not a whole lot of people like, but it's essentially kind of a street sweeper shotgun variant. It does, of course, pump action and only fires one dart at a time, but it does use these fanciful shells, which means we're interested in some pretty cool mechanics involving those shells. Now, I'm missing one part to this. There is a enclosure that goes over this right here that you would open up and then load shells into and then close it. This is sadly missing from this blaster. This was sent to me by a fan and all he charged me was the cost of shipping. And I very much thank them, they know who they are because this is such a cool blaster that's actually really hard to get a hold of. My usual sources like, you know, Captain Xavier, other people in the community around here. And then of course the Nerf Curator, well, the only person who had any was the curator and he wasn't really letting these go for any kind of economic price because even on eBay, these things command a pretty hefty sum for what they actually are, which is of course a old Busby blaster that isn't hitting elite performance. In fact, it's hitting far underneath that. It's hitting, you know, it's, it's even struggling with the stock end strike performance. So, I mean, it's, it's mostly down to these shells and of course the Busby darts. Ah, when it comes to Springer's, Busby, back in the day, didn't really have anything good. Thank God now they have stuff like the, you know, Sentinel and the Champion and all those good blasters have come out in recent years. And now I'm rating so effortlessly for the Rail Blaster. Please come out soon. I do know that's supposed to come out in July, so I cannot wait. But we're going to be taking a look at the old Torrent here. And, well, you've pretty much already figured this out. But it is, of course, a pump action blaster. Pump that and, you know push that forward and pull the trigger and you fire a dart in. Honestly, it doesn't fire darts well at all. And that's when it's not jamming. It is a pretty complex system in here. The real reason I wanted this is because I had a ton of these shells. I remembered this thing existed and I've always wanted one. I saw a review on it long ago and I'm just super happy to have this one in my possession. The real reason you want a torrent is because when you prime it back again, if you push it forward, and you have to push it forward with quite a bit of force, it ejects the shell. That is oddly satisfying for a toy, and that's pretty much what this thing is ever going to be. It's not really any kind of hobby grade material right here, even though I am personally planning on overhauling this as much as possible because I would love to use it in a war. I, uh, let me know if you want to see that down in the comment section below. If I get enough uh, requests for it, I will certainly do it. But this thing, even with that, uh, we're not looking at very good performance gains here. My major complaint with this blaster, besides the absolute mute color scheme, which is just freaking green, a lot of detail, but just green, is the grip. <laughs> Holy crap. This thing is, it's meant for like infants. This is a tiny grip on this thing. And the front grip is even worse. I know they're meant for kids, but I mean, I've handled plenty of full length grips that are comfortable for both kids and adults. So I don't know why Busby has had a huge bad rap in trying to get the, the balance between the two. I was complaining about the color scheme, but in the grand uh, scheme of things, it looks pretty darn good if he just added a little bit of paint detail on some of these extra pieces. I mean, the shell looks really darn good in my opinion. I love all these details. It's nice and symmetrical. Everything looks good, except for it's just one solid piece of plastic, which of course kept costs down. Busby didn't have to charge you a whole lot for these things, but man, it could really do with a paint job in my opinion. Even the barrel and all that stuff just looks awesome to me. The draw is pretty substantial for what it is, and I do know for a fact the whole priming mechanism goes through the middle of this turret, dude, you know, drum here, and then pulls back the, ah, that's so much fun, and pulls back the plunger tube, and then of course you got your, it only ejects, I'm getting distracted watching this mechanism because I never really, it only ejects spent shells. 
So if I were to prime again, it doesn't eject the shell. I got really, really distracted right there, but you can see why. The torrent is really, really cool. It holds 12 shells, which is a pretty decent amount. And all things considered, it's pretty easy to reload. You just stuff shells on there. And of course you can put darts in there. I did look up what kind of mods people have done. And usually with these old blasters, it leads me back to Nerf Haven every single time. And one of the cooler mods I saw was somebody just affixed PVC in there. So they could just rear load PVC and shoot the thing, which is a great idea except for you ruin the whole gimmick of the blaster, which is, you know, understandable in this case. It's pretty bad, but, ugh. I mean, I get it, but if you're buying this thing, you're not buying it for performance. Oh, didn't even let me prime it right there. I am gonna say that this mechanic is, uh, while it does work pretty decently, it doesn't work every single time, which is a big problem not even prime there we go it jams pretty fairly often because these shells are i mean i don't know how well you can see it in there i'm gonna try to get it in the light but you can see the air restrictor moving in there i mean the shells themselves are air restrictors and then of course these darts not exactly the best i mean these were what were competing with the standard nerf streamlines which were you know okay at the time but definitely not that good and, well, to get the most out of this thing, you, of course, have to do a spring replacement, maybe even a plunger tube replacement, cut down as much dead space as possible, and then definitely do something with every single one of the shells, which most people will, you know, remove the, you know, cut this all off right there, put some PVC in there to increase the compression on the foam, and then even drill out the back here and get rid of all that air restrictor stuff. And that's a lot of work in a blaster like this, but if I can get some decent performance out of it, I'm very much looking forward to doing it. Let me know what you think of the good old Busby Torrent down in the comments section below. And if you've modded one or you have any good experiences with one, I'd love to hear them because I'm very interested in this blaster. And again, I cannot thank the fan enough who sent this in to me because it's going to be one of those things where I'm, I'm even trying to look, work on like a metal cover for this because that would just be so much better than the plastic. This thing deserves some love and... While it's not anything super special when it comes to performance and stuff, eh, sometimes you just want to have some fun. And I guess in this case, I can give the pass to the torrent just because I have a soft spot for these beautiful Busby shells. I'm Walcom7. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one.